Welcome to My Music Presents, your chance to get up close and personal with My Music's favorite artists. This week, Megan Ton just stops by to show off her talents, answer some of your questions, and take the Intern 2 Challenge. Hi, I'm Megan Tonjes, and you're watching My Music Presents. This is The Fault is in Our Stars. Welcome back to my music, Megan. Thanks, Intern 2. Um, I noticed something a little bit different around here. What happened to the old staff? Oh, they all got fired for being posers. You're not a poser, are you? I hate for you to be sent to the rat protector. Well, I guess this company continues to be weird. Yeah, well, not all of us are weird. Are you flossing? That's the thing that you're doing right now. Is that, is that a thing that you're doing right now? I'm sorry, but just because we're having an interview doesn't mean Ginger Vice is gonna take a break. Get your priorities in check, Megan. One sec, sorry. Just a moment. Love your work, though. 
no blood today. It's a good sign, healthy gums. <laughs> it's time for crowd surfing, where I'll ask Megan some of your questions. But first, I have a few questions on my own. Uh-uh. Your latest album is called This Year. What have been your highlights from 2012? I moved out to LA, that was mm -hmm. a big thing. And then I actually ended up going on tour with a good friend of mine, Ron Pope, who uh, I covered one of his songs in a video and then it turned into being friends and then touring together. You went on tour with the Pope? That's awesome. No, no, not the Pope. Wow. Ron Pope. I didn't know his first name was Ron. No, no. Congratulations. No, that's not at all. Can I shake I your hand? No, that's mm -mm. awesome. No, no, that's the not what Pope. I mean. Pope. Uh, no. Now you do Request Tuesdays on your YouTube channel where you take requests from fans. Would you ever do a Billy Ocean cover? I have not had that request before. I think for you I could do that. I think I could do that. That's, That's a yes? Oh that. boy. Get out of my, my dreams. Dun, 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 and into, into my, my car. car. Oh, yeah. she knows it. Just like that. Would you ever consider starring in your own documentary? I think that people would not be prepared probably for how many bad words that I say on a daily basis. What? Like, like, gee will occurs and ah uh, shoot and ah uh, knuckle crackers. Yeah, yeah, like those. Or like, like, fuck, 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 eat a dick. I hope I keep your whole family. How about you burn fire? Maybe I could just, just one of your family and then make you watch and then you can eat my dick. So we have some uh, questions from the fans. Fans have questions for you, Megan. Potty mouth. Tegan D on Facebook asked, what inspired you to start singing? I think that I just kind of grew up with music, and so it was really natural to want to sing, and uh, it just became something that I love to do. So I continue doing it. Doing what you love? Isn't that the dream? It's it's one of the dreams. Mm. High <laughs> five for dreams. Dreams, yeah. <laughs> Genoro S asked, why is there an H in your name? If it makes you uncomfortable, the H, we could just it does. take it out, maybe. I could just be Megan without an H. Okay. Holding yeah, back. that's way easier than saying Megan. Okay. Yeah. Can I? Do you mind if I call you Megan? Yeah. No, I mean, Megan? it's weird to hear that, but I mean, it's weird to say it. And finally, if you were a My Music staff member, what would your name be? Angsty folk pop. Angsty folk pop. Yeah. I imagine it's hyphenated. A lot of hyphens. Yes. It rolls off the tongue. Yeah. yeah it works. Yeah. It works, right? It yeah. does in a weird way. It's a little hard to fit on like a name tag, but um, we could just you you know, squeeze it in there. AFP. Megan. It would be so neato if you could play another song for us. Neato, that's that's a thing. Uh, just because you use that word and I haven't heard anyone use it in the past 20 years, I will play another song for <gasps> you. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, My Music presents Megan Tonjes. This is called This Year. I said I would do all the things you 
Said I never could this year This year Maybe you're the kind Who needs a lies falling down Maybe you're the kind Who needs stars racing for Sometimes it's hard to get up, maybe it's hard to speak Think no one understands you, feel like nobody sees When the nights that go around you, with all of the things you've lost Know that the hope inside you, sometimes it's worth Said I would do all the things you said I never could this year. I'm gonna make it, gonna make my way back to you. I'm gonna make it, gonna make my way back to you. And I'm gonna make it, gonna make my way back to you. I'm gonna make it, gonna make my way back. This week, I decided to challenge myself and not go for the easy victory with yet another tie tie. And because I'm not the best at devising competitions, I turned to Scene for help. Lo and behold, she came up with a not so bad challenge idea. And in the spirit of the holidays, I give to you presents presents. That is pretty clever, intern too. Well, I try. The rules are simple the first person to unwrap his or her present as generously provided by scene, wins the challenge. Ready to lose? I'm ready to win. I don't know. Three, two, one, unwrap. I got it, I won, I won, I won. Yeah. Agree to disagree. No, I agree to agree. I won. I finished. I'm done. I won. You finished, but you did not win. But at all. But you said whoever finished first won. I did say that. However, look at your wrapping paper. That is disgusting. It's destroyed. It's ruined. It's unusable. It's you've rendered it useless. That wasn't the official rules. It was who finished first, not it who made a mess. Was understood. No. Megan, all right. Take a look. Take a note here. This is how I unwrap my presents like a gentleman. This can be used again. It's all in one solid piece. And it... Okay. It's a final question. It's time for the final question. And this week's final question comes from Kiki's Theater Stuff, who asked if there was a zombie apocalypse and you were trapped in a house with all your friends and family for days and ran out of food, who would you eat first, and who last? I would take out my brother first. I would eat him. Why? Because he's my he's my biggest threat. So you know I gotta take him out while I still have strength okay. to do that. Fair enough. And then if I'm still hungry two days later, that's not enough. Um, I would say my parents. Maybe just a bit of them. Like I won't I won't eat them entirely, but just like an arm. You showed zero hesitation in that split, answer. You gotta make split decisions in the zombie apocalypse. Too morbid for me. I feel gross. Make sure to leave your final question suggestion in the comments below. The question with the most thumbs up will be asked. It's a final question. Follow us around the web to find out about future guests and for a chance to get your questions featured on the show. We'll be back next week for a very special episode of My Music Presents. Take us out, Megan. Thanks so much for watching. You guys can find me over at youtube.com slash tanjasml. There's an annotation you can click to go subscribe, and there's all kinds of fun links below that you can touch and feel and all kinds of videos to watch. Um, I love you guys, and I will touch you soon. Bye.